Hello there folks, DJ Bergstar here back with another tip of the day. So today I want to talk about this Sting 64 Max for Live device that you can download free on maxforlive.com. And this is a MIDI generator uh, that generates its own notes and you don't have to input any notes of your own. If you hit play, it'll just start going. And um, what it does is um, it has a density um, setting here that when it's really low, it will only play sort of a few notes here and there. And if you crank that up, it'll be playing a whole bunch of notes all over the place. Um, and um, it has a length that goes all the way to 64. That's why they call it Sting 64. I have it set at 16 before it uh, loops around again. Um, and then it has a velocity uh, setting here as well. And I have that sort of at a medium setting there. Um, and you can transpose it up or down if you want. Um, and what I've done is, is I've set up the um, Sting 64 uh, Max for Live device, and after that I have a scale here um, because, you know, if you didn't, the notes would just sort of be all over the place and a little bit too random. So I want to control the notes a bit by putting my scale after it. And the scale I've chose here, the key is the same as my track. I have this uh, chord progression on here that's in a D minor. And so I set my scale here to D minor. So it would control the notes coming out of here to just stay in a D minor. Um, and then I have my instrument behind that. And the only thing I've really done um, different here is that I have an LFO that's controlling this density. You see that this is moving up and down and that's my LFO there and I've done that because I want this to not just play the same thing over and over um, and um, you know keep it at one uh, setting. I like it so it's generating just a few notes and then it plays a bunch more and kind of goes back and forth and makes it a little more random, a little more interesting uh, over time as it plays. Um, and um, I also have this set to a bass uh, track next to it. And the bass is the same thing. Uh, I've set the um, scale after it and my instrument, but the instrument's a bass this time instead of sort of a lead melody line. And um, I have an LFO set on this one, but the difference on this track is my LFO rate is different. So this is uh, set to a slower rate. So um, the density basically is moving slower up and down. And so they don't kind of go up and down at the same time. They're kind of um, sort of doing it differently each so it's not that they're both playing just a few notes at a time then they're both playing a bunch of notes at the same time um, they're both kind of dancing around each other because one is playing more when the other one is playing less you know so I've sort of played a little bit with the uh, density knob here with an LFO which makes it a little more interesting so uh, let's listen to this melody line first I'll just solo that you can hear this thing in action And to give it a little more excitement, I also put an LFO, um, that same LFO, on my filter cutoff on my Serum device. So it the tone of the sound changes as it kind of goes, um, which gives it, uh, you know, even a little bit more um, interesting character. Um, and so I've done that to the lead line. I didn't do that to the bass line. That's just a the same tone the whole way through. Um, so let's listen to the bass line and the um, melody line together uh, with the Sting device. Now I know that sounds a bit random, but when you put on your 
track with it, you know, with some drums and your chord progression, um, it actually um, is an interesting um, random pattern that uh, sounds nice. So let's listen to that. So that's the Sting device in action there. Um, if you look at his little smile, you'll see that when it's a few notes, uh, the smile is less. And then when there's a bunch of notes, the smile gets bigger. It's just sort of a little graphic there that's kind of fun. So anyway, if you haven't seen the Sting 64 device before, um, hopefully, um, you know, you'll be introduced to it here and maybe want to use it in one of your projects. So that's all I wanted to talk about today. And so thanks again for watching. Hope to see you guys on the next one. DJ Bergstar out.